Can you monetize a text-to-speech channel or video on YouTube? And the answer is yes. But at the same time, if you are not careful, you can get demonetized. And in this video, I will show you the right way to monetize your text-to-speech channel and videos on YouTube. Hi and welcome to this channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. After watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out other videos on the channel. Alright, so first, I will show you proof on my channel just to let you know that you can monetize. So YouTube has no problem monetizing a text-to-speech channel. However, how you do it is the problem. This is a text-to-speech, text-to-speech, text-to-speech and test to speech and i have monetized all of them so i'll show you one as an example so let me take this one first because this is the first one i did because i want to do this just to make sure it's working and i did not just one but four okay all right so let me show you quick so i'll click this if you're a and coach bam this is an ad and this should tell you you can monetize it okay see right here this is an ad all right so let me just play it just so, so you know agency owner, and your calendar looks like See? this i'll show you to get your calendar and like i'll this, skip it or you don't okay the so most when important I skip mind it and i play for making money online is you should hear it right away all right so i'll pause it i don't want it to play so i'll go back all right so i'll show you the other one so these two they are also test to speech this one is more obvious so let me click on this one at shop here bam see another ad so let me just let we it roll you roll and I'll skip it. You're focused on perfecting okay. pet portraits. So Ten reasons here. why people See? are quitting their jobs. It's playing right this video away. Will share just reasons. to let you know that this is a test to speech as well. Uh, let's say I don't want it to play more than five seconds. If not, it's going to read as a regular play. And that's not good for my algorithm. Because when a video is played and right away it's click off, it's not good. Especially after five seconds going. Okay. So I will just stop it. So just for you to know. back and now there are some policies that you need to follow let's go to youtube policy page to check what they want and what they don't want okay this is the youtube help page i'll put the link in the description box so let's scroll down so this is monetized with the youtube partner program so you scroll down as per youtube policy what we check when we review your channel okay. all right so when uh a YouTube uh, reviewer come to your channel. Let's say you have hundreds of videos, okay? They cannot check everything. They will go straight to your channel ads and check what's the deem of your channel. So I'll come back here. So I'm using my channel to show you, even though my channel is not the test to speech, but this cut across every channel, whether it's test to speech, normal channel or whatever, okay? They will check the same thing. All right, so when they come here, First of all, they see my channel is about education, mainly digital marketing and entrepreneurship. And when they check the videos, they realize that, oh, okay, it's about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. And my purpose is to teach or to educate people. So when you look at it, they have similar stuff. But when they come here and they realize I'm talking about, uh, let's say, weight loss. It's not good and it sends a wrong signal. This is not good and it sends a wrong signal to the viewer, okay? Because I said it's about digital marketing, but I'm showing weight loss stuff, okay? So that's the first thing they will check. Then second, most view video, okay? So they will come back here and most view video. So they will go most popular, okay? Then when they check, most popular, this is build our sales funnel, how to create landing page, okay? Yeah, so when they look at it too, this is digital marketing. And when they check, yeah, it's about digital marketing, all right? So they check this one too, same thing. They check this, Weebly and TikTok business account and stuff like that, how to connect the domain. It's in alignment with my Dean. So that's the second thing they will check. And your newest video, okay? So when they check my newest video, which let me go back, why affiliates should promote recurring commission product and services, all right? So you can tell it's still about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So I'm not deceiving my viewers. Okay. So YouTube reviewer come here to review my channel. They know that everything is in alignment. Okay. And they will check how you get your watch time. 
okay if it's genuine all right but most of the time this one is not really a problem because once you have your traffic like organic traffic and people are watching you don't need to worry about anything your video metadata okay if the titles the thumbnails and descriptions are not deceptive it's not like a clickbait and stuff like that so when i go here and i said okay check here why athlete must promote recurring commission products okay now when they go into my video to watch it is the same thing i'm talking about so that's what that is all about all right and in your description like your descriptions should also say something close to that so let me just click this and if i'll pause it this guy is back again all right so when i click here okay this video reveals why affiliates should promote recurring commission product and services blogs down faceless podcast so this is just playlist for this video so don't waste your time promoting small profit commission product all right so I'm sending like the right message about the thumbnail, okay? You can write up to 5,000 words, so it's up to you. All right, so let's check something crucial. All right, so YouTube Partner Program is affiliated to Google AdSense. So now we have to check the Google AdSense policy. So when you click on this, it says repetitious content. What do they mean by that? So let's say when you have a video on your channel and you repeat the same video content or video materials for your next video and the video after and stuff like that. And after viewers may have trouble differentiating between the videos. It's like, I've seen this before. I've watched this before. What's the difference? All right. So that's what this is all about. So you don't use the same content. So let's say you are using like uh, videos from uh, Pestle by the way this is a free image and video stock platform you don't even need to sign up you can just join weight loss for instance hover over this and click on horizontal because this is good for youtube so you see i'm just showing you all the tricks right now all right so let's say you use this to show people how to eat right to lose weight okay and in your next video you show one or two and in your next video you show this video again so it's like it keep repeating in your video they don't accept it you have to make sure every video is different so you don't keep using the same thing over and over or even if you have let's say this and that and this then you add this the next time again you have this this and you add this the next time again you have this and that then you use this the next time again it's not good okay so that's what they mean by that but let's say if you have uh, an intro your your special made intro and outro and you include that in all of your videos that's fine okay because that's your brand intro and outro and another one i will show you is uh reuse content so reuse content is when you use someone else's content to create your videos especially when you use uh a content from TikTok or Instagram. You took the content and you add like a couple of them, let's say about three, four, five of them, and you compile everything and you just let it go and you upload it. No, what they want you to do, yes, you can use it, but add your voice to it or the text to speech. And that text to speech must be informative and educational. Because the purpose of using someone's content is to, to explain or to educate, okay? So that's one thing you should know, okay? So that's why they say repurposing someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value, okay? This is why people are getting demonetized. It is because of reuse content. If you're going to be using text-to-speech, like let's say voice maker text-to-speech, make sure you add informative content whatever you say let it be educational so it's like you are teaching people let's say for instance relationship advice for teenagers that's a big topic all right so if you don't know how to write that that's where writer comes in okay so you can create it i have a tutorial here this one you can create it and when you create it because relationship advice is educational somebody will listen to everything so it doesn't matter if it's your voice or it's an ai voice which is the test to speech all right so that's why they want your test to speech to be like educational or informative and by the way if you need the software to create your test to speech uh, videos or audio i recommend uh, voice maker or more ai let me show you quick
all right this one is good too with voice maker it's like a prepaid if you have money in if you have money in your account you can use it if not you have to top up mine has expired and i haven't top up yet i'll come back here and i'll just log into my account and top it up so this is the one that i have the most popular it's it used to be eight dollars a month but now it's 10 and that's one thing i don't like about this and let me show you the more ai so with the more ai you have uh 13 dollars and 26 so it's up to you you can look into it and subscribe to one of them so i'll go back all right and if you need videos you can use a uh, free stock okay also you can use a uh, Victory for your videos. Let me show you. All right, so you can use Victory, and these are the prices for Victory. All right, so this is just by the way, like just to show you some of the softwares you can use to to create test to speech uh, video or a channel. So let's go back. And another thing I forgot to show you: if you don't know how to write your own script, you can use a writer, okay, to create your script. And I'll put link in the description box as well all right this is a tutorial i have but i will show you right here. so just a minute before i start everything i'm just showing you all the softwares that you can use okay and i have the competitor for writer as well which is uh jarvis this is jarvis ai all right so these are the two script generators i recommend but this one is a little pricey compared to this one so i'll show you quick the starter plan is 29 and 20,000 words and this one is 59 a month and you have 50,000 words they are okay but they are not that much when you come here you have uh, 29 dollars a month and you get two months free or you go 290 dollars per year and it's unlimited okay so it's up to you to choose i'll put the link in the description box and if you want a tutorial i got a tutorial here for you so you can watch it all right but thanks for watching this video and i wish you all the best i hope i have not forgotten anything if you have question regarding this uh, topic just drop your question in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer you within 24 hours you know because we still have life apart from youtube we have to go out do our thing okay all right so once again thank you and i wish you all the best Take care. Bye for now.